This episode was recorded during the UK's annual LCV event. Now, it's not open to the public, but we're allowed in. And it showcases the latest in low-carbon vehicle technology. LCV, low-carbon vehicle. Exciting. I never thought I'd do a convoy. No, this is cool. <laughs> Alternative fuel vehicles. God, big, they're so big, aren't they? You forget how big trucks are, you kind of yeah. get used to them. And they're really big Arctic, yeah. so massive, aren't they? So what was the first delivery vehicle you used? Because that just sounded fabulous. That was a... Uh, it was a cargo cycle and a quadricycle, which only, wow. which was not even categorised as a van. Right. It was a uh, same uh, categorisation as a, as a G-Wiz. Right. So it was... Um, and with a 10 mile range. 10 or 12, 12 on a good day. <laughs> Perfectly adequate for urban deliveries. So, and then, where, so where are you now? Where, how, many, how many vehicles are you running now? We've been as high as 120. Wow. Uh, all electric, all delivering in central London. Wow. Um, I think we're sitting at about 70 or 80 at the moment. God, that's um, amazing, isn't it? But uh, in many ways, it's better to have less vehicles, but we're being more efficient. So, right. You know, it's... Because um, presumably a lot of what you do is actually the logistical planning of how you deliver something there and, you, and you, you know, to minimise wasted journeys and things. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing. I'm, yeah, it's exactly that. And right. We, we want to be as efficient as possible and therefore uh, as profitable as possible. Are you delivering for lots of other different different companies that uh, you're delivering for? Or, uh, yeah, we've, like? we've delivered for all sorts of people over the years, whether it be um, we've delivered on behalf of big carriers um, and then more recently we're delivering on behalf of big retailers that are, are predominantly selling e-commerce products. So everything, you know, we're, right. we're in the, uh, a world of, of internet shoppers. Right. Um, and so we're delivering that stuff to people's doors right. uh, or their offices. Uh, and predominantly in urban areas. So, and, that, and everything you run is 100% electric, so yes. there's no... There's always, no <coughs> always has been, right? ever since the beginning. Which we, is great. We carved a niche in that industry, in a competitive industry, to do something a bit different. Yeah. The thing that will intrigue some viewers will be that you've got, say, 70 vehicles, which you are presumably charging in one depot, or have you got uh, more yes. than one depot? Yeah, predominantly, yeah. Right. Yeah, and we've had to get smarter uh, in the way that we do that, but in the, uh, in the, in the middle years, um, we had everything charged on three pin plugs. Wow. And, and the, way, the way I got around it was I went onto eBay and I bought a lot of those timers with little teeth on it, you know, oh, yeah, you know yeah. for turn the lights on and off in yeah. your house when you're not there. So I, I, I bought a lot of those. Uh, I got a spreadsheet out and a bit of paper and, and did some maths on what vehicles we've got, uh, how much charge they're going to use, what right. power we've got in the building, how many hours we've got left to charge them and just worked it out and then wow. changed all the little teeth. But literally, and shared, shared mechanically and, yeah. and physically. Uh, and really, we do the same thing now. It's just all smart. It's all right. done with, yeah. you know, on the cloud with algorithms on, on online portals. But right. the principle's the same. Yeah. Um, but a little bit more robust than, than my, uh, my my budget version. Right. Uh, but you, yeah, like everything, it'll start somewhere. Yeah, that is amazing, though. That yeah, you well, well, you know, we have And so what, basically what you're doing is... is uh, timing it so that they're not all coming on at the same time and there's, you're spreading the load over it's, yeah, it's load, it's load balancing yeah, yeah because uh, there is only a finite amount of energy that is in each building uh, yeah. some have more than others but you've got to work within whatever constraints you've got yeah um, and then in the future that's going to be a more national problem where we've got lots of people trying to charge at peak time yes um, and we need to manage that to make sure that it's spread yeah. um, so actually what you're doing is helping the data that you're gathering doing that then is presumably helping Yeah, that, that's why the Innovate UK project and the left project is important because it's, it's, uh, it's a benefit to us as a commercial business to, to explore different areas of charging infrastructure, of larger vans, you know, all that, all that kind of yeah. stuff. But at the same time, it's, it's helping to educate potentially the next batch of people that want to adopt electric vehicles on scale. Right. Doing it one or two here or there isn't, isn't too bad, isn't too hard. But yeah. When you get into 10s, 20s, 30s, 40s of vehicles all in one place, yeah. it, it requires a lot more thought. And it's not just about the vehicle, it's about the telematics, it's about the charging infrastructure, the, the algorithms, the rules you set, the capacity of the building, the, what else have you got going in the building? Have you got lifts? Have you got shutters? You know, that all makes a difference. Yeah. Well, 
Well, we've had a lovely day here at Millbrook today, haven't we? We've had, I mean, you've driven, now you've driven a dustbin. Do, have you seriously never driven a dustbin? No, I never. Before? Have you? No. I don't think I've even been in one, so I was <laughs> riding. I wanted to jump out and load some bins and, you know, and do a bit of that. But anyway. I did. I wanted to cable tie a doll onto the front. <laughs> But in all seriousness, the great thing about it is I can see this stuff actually working yeah. because it's being used in the in their right environment right yeah. now. So it's R and D. It's kind of like um, apprenticeships. Yes. You're, you're learning as you go in the real world rather than. In a and thing. then you'll become a, a mature uh, <laughs> truck. But, I mean, the fact they're doing a fully hydrogen one is really, I think, really interesting. Using existing technology is great, and they're. Yeah. And the, the new well, stuff new are doing is amazing. In that yeah. little, you know, those vans they're converting those vans. They've got seventy vans. They're, they're being sold in. as we speak. Yeah. They're actually in, in the real world. Yeah. UPS, hundreds yeah. of thousands of a fl fleet that could be converted. Yeah. That's, that's cool news. So it's been good. It's been it's been worth coming here. Everyone's a little bit tired now because it's always exhausting at the low carbon vehicle event in Millbrook. It's been, been busy. Because there's a lot of people here. They've all gone home now. It's kind of a bit nicer, which is why we can get to do this. But anyway, thanks for watching this. Um, uh, Please have a quick look at the old Patreon link, the old uh, bell, the tingy bell. Ple touch the bell. Uh, touch, <laughs> touch the bell, touch the subscribe button uh, if you want to, and have a look at the Patreon link. I think I've said that twice, which is bad. That makes it sound that's more, sh that's, shame that's more needy. We're not that needy, but please have a look. Please. No. And, uh, <laughs> and what, else, what did we say at the end? Just before if you have finished. been watching. Thank you. Is that what we say? Something along those lines. Yeah.